Today I'm going to show you how to groom a dog properly to the skin. Um, lots of people just um, give a quick brush and think that's okay but actually there's lots of knots which form underneath. Now Ruffle only had a bath and was thoroughly groomed before his bath. Um, it's been dried yesterday and I'm going to show you how quickly the knots form. So remember a wheaten coat is not fur, it's a single coat of hair and so it do, they don't molt and, and shed the hair so it's important you keep them groomed and groomed properly otherwise knots form and you end up with problems. Okay so I'll start and show you that if I just actually brushed him it may look okay on the surface but in actual fact underneath there will be lots of knots and tags. I'm using um, a natural um, brush, a bamboo brush and this helps um, lots of dogs, especially elderly dogs in particular um, because it grooms without pulling the dog hair so to initially get the first layer of knots out or, or you know little tags it helps quite a bit without actually causing the dog some distress also you can use a slicker brush as well and again that will make the coat look nice on the surface but it actually won't get down to the knots which are underneath and if I now put a comb on him you will see how it soon stops there it's already pulling on the comb is not try and comb everything over all the layers and it's to actually lift up the coat start at the bottom so you're only ever combing through hair you've combed so start at the feet and comb through you can already see the hair coming out on the coat so always do it in layers and you must get through to the skin here because that's where the little knots and tags form you can see it's just it just sort of stops the comb slightly um, you know and he, he was well groomed just yesterday it's amazing how quickly um, on the coat it forms and this is a mature coat as well so um, it's not too difficult it's more difficult as a puppy and uh, a juvenile coat uh, where they go through the coat changes see can't get through that and that's important you must get through every piece of hair do it in the layers then you're only combing on top of hair that you've already combed in particular the dogs and the bitches they get a lot of knots form in the groin a lot in the armpits and, the, and under the chest now when you do the body hair lift up the coat again and comb in layers that way can you see right through to the skin and you can see and feel and even though I'll go over this once when I go over it again I'll find more knots and tags so you don't just do it once you completely go over it and you can use one of these combs or some people like to use um, this kind of comb that's fine as well as long as the teeth are fairly wide to do the initial grooming I like one of these because it's I can hold it better always comb it the way the hair lies so down the back you can go but down the side that way now as you can see now I can put my comb straight through and it's not actually pulling on anything so that's probably um, okay initially but when I go over it again I don't doubt I'll find some more the front leg do the same uh, thing some dogs will let you hold the, the, the leg some don't like it as you can see Ruffles going to protest he can sit down 
do the same on the chest it here it really you know can get knotty in here and they'll form big wads of hair if you're not careful and look it's so if I did that all the top from the bottom that's pulling the dog whereas if I lift the layers like this I'm only ever combing on top of combed hair so it makes it easier for the dog and and obviously less problems many Wheatons many people have problems with Wheatons it's usually grooming it's the grooming because they've not done it well enough then it starts to hurt the dog the dog starts to protest and starts to snap and bite because it knows it's going to be painful you should start grooming your puppy from the moment you get it home every day even though it only takes 30 seconds to groom a puppy that's eight weeks old or ten weeks old it must be done it must be a discipline get yourself a table so your back doesn't hurt and just get good equipment it'll last you a lifetime and you can go through your dog now the head comb the head backwards and the fringe taking care to avoid the eye make sure you clean every day make sure you clean the dirt out of the eye it gets in the corner there just clean it out um, every day and a lot of people ask um, that they'd like to see the dog's eyes but they think they have to cut the whole fringe off or foe as some people call it um, you don't need to you see these dark eyelashes there are lots there uh, in that part of the eye if you cut across you're actually going to cut all those eyelashes off and they are the ones that keep the space between the actual hair falling over like this for the dog to be able to see and protect the eye if you cut those eyelashes this hair when it grows will turn round and likely point poke the dog in the eye so it's important now if you take it the hair away from the side of the face the dog ne it, they never miss a trick anyway they can see even though you think they can't and I know they've got beautiful eyes and a lot of people want to see them just take it away at the side and you can still leave this little bit of fringe um, and it makes the Wheaton look like a Wheaton comb it forward and again make sure you're going right underneath it and same with the beard because there's a lot of food and dirt when they're snuffling on the ground that gets into the coat and you know makes the beard smelly as well so make sure you comb it always comb it forward and down and that way as you can see you've still got um, a Wheaton looking head but it can see each side I can see his eyes everybody else can and when he runs anyway the hair flies backwards so it's not a problem not just there because I can feel it uh, another way to help get it out you can tease it a little bit with your fingers but also you can turn your comb that way and just gently ease it out like that as well and then as you can see it'll go through the coat this little um, slicker brush this is really handy just for doing in the armpits and in the groin area so you just hold it and brush under the armpits to make sure you're getting everything out this will loosen them um, enough and then make sure again you go over with the comb to make sure and get all the little tags out but that helps loosen them particularly in the armpits and in the groin now you must also pay particular attention to the inside of the back legs as well so hold the dog and stand ruffle good boy and make sure you comb all the inside I've gone over him once now um, and I shall go over him again before I'm actually finished because 
believe it or not there will still be some little tags so again lift up the hair comb it in the layers let little bits drop down and keep layering it and making sure there's no knots or tags left in the coat at all if you do this every day or every other day it literally will take five ten minutes um, you know once you've trained your dog to stand on the table um, it doesn't usually take long the pretty amiable dogs um, get someone to stand at the front uh, and keep the puppy happy with little treats or just standing it still and just tell it to stand and when it stands correctly say good dog or good boy whichever so now as you can see my comb goes all the way through the coat little tag there lift it up comb it down I see only little ones but they are the ones that will form if left big wads don't be tempted to just leave it make sure it's out of the armpit and that's clean and there's your dog properly groomed through to the skin and completed so ruffles the model today nine years old in january